Sean, the tourism department says the response of City Garden Grand Hotel has left them with many questions. The DOT says it contradicts to the evidence presented on the case on the death of flight attendant Christine De Serra. In its four-page reply, the Makati Hotel denied violating any IATF policies, maintaining that they didn't accept guests for leisure purposes. The hotel also insisted that they have no liability on the incident. According to the establishment, the persons involved in the incident were included in the list of guests permitted inside. But DOT NCR Director Woodrow McKeeling is not sold. He said that the CCTV footages, as well as the statements from the police and persons of interest, say otherwise. McKeeling added that if those involved were indeed permitted guests, then there should have been limited movement. And with the hotel serving as a quarantine facility, guests should not have been allowed to go back and forth the rooms and invite guests. The DOT NCR conducted a physical investigation on Friday upon receiving the hotel's response. The agency is hoping to come up with a resolution by next week. If found guilty, the hotel could face a six-month suspension or a revocation of their certificate of authority to operate. Aside from the DOT, the Makati City Government has already sent show-cause notices to the City Garden Grand Hotel for allowing accommodation for leisure purposes. It was also found that the hotel accepted a New Year buffet dinner reservation and accommodation to another guest on December 31. Sean, an official from the City Garden Grand Hotel, the didn't uh, issue any statement and says they w they are not allowed to divulge any information on the matter. We'll just have to wait for the official announcement and statement from the hotel. Sean? All right, again, another wait and see. Thanks so much for that update, Shaila Francisco, reporting to us live from Mandaluyong City.